kisses told me I had no love in arms to hold me Every day I wake up and I start to break up Lonely is a man without love Every day I Hey, folks! That's the legend, Arnold Dorsey. Wait a second before you leave comments on my video, on my show. It is Arnold Dorsey, because that's his real name. But he's known the world over as Inkelbert Humperdinck. And that is a man without love. Let me give you a little bit more of that. More women threw their panties on the stage for all Inkelbert. And imagine that with a name like Inkelbert. That guy pulled them in by the masses. Forget about it. But hey, folks, this is another RSR video email bag. And for you guys at CVR, I know that when you go home, you all watch my show. So are you going to be sending questions in? Or are you guys are just going to keep up with the fan club? Because, Curtis, I heard that you and Bo are the president and the vice president of the club. And I know you love when I talk with my hands. So that one's for you, paisans. Now, here's the deal. You send your questions in, I answer them, always, with straight honesty. And if you like it, great. And if you don't, well, hey, you know what you can do. Watch the next show. Now, if you want to be on my next show, send your questions in to ringsidereport2014 at gmail.com. That's ringsidereport2014 at gmail.com. And if you forgot who this cat is with the fedora and the pinky ring, and the New York accent, and the forget about it, I am Bad Brad Berkwood. Now, without further ado, let's get to your questions. First question is, Bad Brad, I'm thrilled to see you're back with the video bags. We actually sit around the computer and watch them, my boys and I, and take bets on who will crack up first on something you say, which usually is me. Keep them coming. I wanted to know your thoughts on this Roman Gonzalez kid who's getting lots of media, but really hasn't fought anyone. However, he shows a lot of promise. Thanks, Terry C. from Alexandria, Virginia. Terry C., my homeboy from Alexandria, Virginia. I moved all the way from Alexandria, Virginia, the East Coast, to Tulsa, Oklahoma. You must, did we know each other? And let me tell you, for the folks out there, my girlfriend, the lady of my life, the love of my life, Debbie Edwards, she says to me, hey, I'll help you make the drive. But a little funny thing happened on the way. Usually it's on the way to the forum. On the way to Tulsa, Oklahoma, I must share this story. And I'll get into your question, Terry C., and answer here in a second. So we're driving over 1,000 miles, something like 1,200, 1,300 miles. And I said, okay, Debbie, it's your turn to drive. Oh, there's too many cars on the road. Oh, that's a divided lane. Oh, we're in states that start with C or B or M or J. It, it, it's nighttime. It's daytime. Oh, we stopped at a rest stop. There was a Shih Tzu there. It was adorable. Then she couldn't drive anymore because she was distraught that the Shih Tzu was at the, sh at the rest stop. Did she drive not one single freaking mile? I drove the whole way. But let her tell the story she offered. Yeah, right, Deb. You offered what? Assistance? No, you didn't. Forget about it. Now, Terry, see your question about Roman Gonzalez. I think he's the real deal. And I do agree with you, though. He needs to fight somebody. But the kid is, what, 45, 44, 48, something, you know. Huge power, trained with Alexis Arguello, the legendary Alexis Arguello, God rest his soul. The kid is tough, like I said, massive power, but he needs a super fight. So let's not make a rash judgment on the kid yet till he fights somebody, okay? But I think he's the, I actually think he's the real deal. I'm very impressed from what I've seen about two or three times I've seen him fight on TV. All right, there's your answer. Next question. BB, are you, you going to be covering... The fight card in Miami, Oklahoma on Saturday. I see Jarrett Rouse will finally be stepping in the ring after a long layoff. What have you heard about his training and what do you expect him to do against his opponent? Signed Danny A. from Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Danny A. from Bartlesville, Oklahoma, where we shoot the Bad Brad Berkwood show at Studio B. That's Debbie's house. And also, that's where the legacy Jarrett Rouse is from. Now, he's facing a guy named Larry Mingo. And Larry Mingo has been off for about a year. His last opponent knocked him out. I think he's 3-3 three and three or something like that. One of those bodybuilder type guys. And, uh, you know, here's the thing. 
I actually was invited to a closed door training session with Jared uh, last week. Looked very sharp. Training with Verdell, the Iceman Smith. Let Verdell tell it. He's still 25. Forget about it. Verdell, you hit 25 times two. Forget about it. Now, look sharp, like I said. Okay? This is the weight is a little bit higher than his normal weight class for this fight. It's a six rounder. And Jared's power was definitely there. I see I definitely saw that. So my prediction for that fight is that Larry Mingo comes out. Shoots his wide really quick. He's going to be one of those bodybuilder types. They're always going for broke because their stamina is always in question. They're built like a brick shit house, but they don't always add up as far as the fighting ability. My official prediction, even though I'm going to be ringside, I can't root on, but I can tell you that I am obviously rooting for Jarrett, but I can't do it from ringside. Prediction is drum roll. Wait for it. Third round TKO. TKO. Sounded like I was from Japan there. TKO. For Jarrett the Legacy Rouse. Look for big things from the kid. Very impressed with him. Not only does he have it together in a ring, he's got it together outside the ring. The guy comes from a great family. His father trains on Randy Rouse. You don't need to say any more after that. Yeah, he's my paisan, but it has nothing to do with it. The guy is a very qualified trainer. Been around the game forever. And if you want to hear a good story, go up and talk to Randy one day. He's got more, he should write a book. He's got more stories than anybody. And he tells them with great, great, uh, enthusiasm, and he's one of my favorite people in Oklahoma. Third round TKO, Jared the Legacy Rouse, remember where you heard it first. Last question. Bad Brad, love, love the humor you add to your show and the candor. It's refreshing, champ. What are you hearing about Triple G and his next opponent? Thanks. Tank S from Australia. Tank S, throw another shrimp on the bar, baby, mate. Well, first of all, thank you for your question. What am I hearing about Triple G's next opponent? Well, they say the winner of Canelo versus Cotto, and I've already made my official prediction, Miguel Cotto by a hard-fought unanimous decision over Canelo Alvarez. Now, with that said, bet the house on Canelo, because I never bet right. When I don't bet, I always pick right. But that's what I'm hearing, that he fights the winner, and he should. The public demands it. The sanctioning bodies, which suck, should finally do the right thing here. But we'll, we're going to see what's going to happen, because, you know, anything can happen. But uh, that's who I'm hearing he's going to fight, and that's who he needs to fight. If not the winner of that fight, then he needs to fight Andre Ward or Sergey Sergey Kovalev. If that doesn't happen, then you know what? I'm not really interested, and I'm going to start decreasing my stock options in Triple G because he's got to step up and fight somebody. I don't blame him, but I will blame his management, Tom Loeffler, if they don't make that happen. Okay? Now, again, that's another show in the bag. That's three in four days. Three in four days. I know you guys at CVR love the hands, so I'm doing extra for you. Forget about it. Now, here's the deal. If you're interested in sponsoring or advertising on my show or Quick Tillis' show or the Bad Brad Berkwood show or I always got three oars, even though the boat only needs two, forget about it. RingsideReport.com, the heart of boxing, send your serious business inquiries to ringsideport2014 at gmail.com. Y'all should know that by heart, okay? Now, as Frank Sinatra sang so eloquently so long ago, the best is yet to come. Bad Brad out.